one. I'm joined right now by Cal State East Bay softball, who is coming off an 8-1 win over Cal State Dominguez Hills in an elimination game. I'm joined right now by head coach Claire Sue Amundsen. On her right, Annalisa Garcia, Annalise Garcia, and on her left, Ashley Ford. Coach, would you take us through your thoughts on today's game, please? I was really proud of how we came back after the San Marcos loss. I was especially proud of our hitters, um, making that adjustment, being super aggressive. Obviously, coming off the loss earlier can be a little bit tough, but I felt like we as a team really regrouped well. Obviously, Ashley Toy, great job, these two, you know, in the circle behind the plate. So I was really happy about how we responded. Ashley, tell me about the opportunity to have Coach put the ball in your hands in an elimination game and go out and deliver your team such a great performance. I just went out there with confidence and ready to compete after coming off that loss. You know, you kind of just have the fire and you just go out there and compete and you want to win. Let me ask you just in the simple one, what was out there working for you so well today? That's a good hitting team that you held in one run. Uh, probably the changeup, the mindset, my defense behind me. You know, I have confidence in my defense every game, so that, that's what it is. Well, you guys got a great performance on the mound and you guys really capitalized on one inning. Can you please give me your correct name? I'm sorry, I said Annalise. No, it's, uh, it's uh, Annalise. Annalise, okay. thank yeah. you very much. Annalise, I'd like to talk to you about, you guys took advantage with eight runs in the third inning. You come up twice in that inning, you get the inning started, well not started, but you get a big hit early on with a double with a triple. Could you take me through that one and the way you guys just capitalized and kept the bats rolling? Uh, I think when we just have energy, it's like we take advantage of it pretty well and I think that's why a bat just started the energy, and I think it just kept going from there. Like we knew the pitcher, we knew what pitches she would throw, um, and yeah, we took advantage of it. We laid off the pitches that are not our pitches, and yeah, I thought we did really good. Well, let's be one hundred percent honest. I'm not knocking anybody on this one, but the top of your lineup is very scary. You guys got some really good ones. How important is it when you see the bottom lineup kind of set you up? And that's what I thought really created that beginning. Is you guys got the let's be honest, the bottom hitters of the lineup on first. I think. Our whole lineup is scary. Like I think we have great hitters one through nine, and especially when our like I think it was eight nine were up. Like it was they had great at bats. They had really great at bats, and I think it started that started the uh, I think that started like the whole eight <laughs> eight hit, uh, eight inning run. Uh, so and, and they even came back around and got you guys a couple more on the backside of that. I believe your number nine hitter. I'm sorry, I'm blanking on the name. Did you look at it right here. Give a quick correct shout out. But um, Mariah Ayala, I believe, no, excuse me, Gabby um, Rivera went yeah. back around and had another hit in there to score two more runs at the end of that one to really cap off. Yeah, they did a great, they did a great job. You know, I mean, I think they're put in that position to get on base to set up, you know, Ani and Toy and Cynthia Creo and what it, they just did such a good job of having good quality at bats and waiting for their pitch. So, I mean, it's contagious. It needs contagious. You can feel the momentum shift. And I think we did such a good job of just taking it and running with it, as Ani said, so well. Seems like your team has played even better against the better opponents once you guys are on this tournament. Can you tell me maybe what's turned up the intensity or just the quality of play for your team? Uh, I think it's just, you know, down the stretch, I think it's one owning kind of the places where we fell short mid-season and owning that, and then just really hyper-focusing on getting better, knowing it's late in the season, we're in the tournament, everybody has played everybody, everybody's got a scout on everybody. So it's just about doing the work of those holes that we had earlier in this year, making sure those aren't holes anymore. So I think just owning it, acknowledging where we needed to get better, and really focusing on that has helped us down, down the road. Fantastic. Thank you very much, and good luck in the championship game tomorrow. We want to make a quick note that the Pioneers and Cougars will both be going for their first ever CCA tournament championship. So good luck. We will have a new tournament champion. Thank, Thank you. you.